This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Adrian Whitsett. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Earlier today, Governor Mike DeWine signed Collins Law. It makes Ohio the 11th state in the nation to make hazing a felony. It's named after Colin Wyatt, who died in a hazing incident in 2018 at Ohio University. The penalty for hazing goes up to a second degree misdemeanor now, and if drugs and alcohol are involved, a third degree felony. Collins Law also requires colleges and organizations to report hazing violations on their website and offer anti-hazing training for staff and volunteers. A statewide plan for preventing hazing needs to be established as well. An education faculty would face a felony charge for allowing hazing and a misdemeanor for not reporting it to law enforcement. At last check, a 17 year old girl was still in critical condition, shot in the back by crossfire during a fight on the 4th of July. 16 year old Milo Watson and 19 year old Dexter Wright Jr. died after police said they shot each other during an argument and three other teens, including that 17 year old caught in the crossfire. Princeton Schools tells us Watson was a junior there. CPD says they have not yet recovered the two guns they believed were used during the shooting. 135 nonprofits will start to see millions of dollars in funding as the United Way is getting ready to distribute a total of $9 million to the agencies trying to get people back on their feet. Easter Seals will receive about $100,000. They will use it to help local employers build a more diverse workforce. Easter Seals provides workforce development services for people with disabilities as well as veterans and those who are economically disadvantaged. They will use the money for two programs that would be challenged if this funding was not available. It was a huge sigh of relief, quite frankly. And it was also, um, like I said earlier, you know, the workforce is, ch is changing so much. And for us to submit a new funding application to the United Way right now would be a real challenge because quite frankly, we're still trying to figure out what are the needs of employers. The money will be distributed at the start of next year, but the announcement today allows the nonprofits to start planning how to use these funds. Sherry? Adrian, we still have some problems with air pollution today and also some problems with the temperatures. We're getting up into the lower 90s, but it will feel like it's triple digits out there. Temperatures will slide into the 80s as we go into the evening. Our air quality advisory lasts until midnight. Hopefully tomorrow, as we get rain chances in here, that will no longer be an issue for us and we start our cooling process. We should get temperatures back into the mid 80s where they belong Thursday and Friday, and we'll see some more rain as we head into the weekend.